Hi, I'm Dan Tignano, Program Chair of Oral and Interpersonal Communication here at the University of Arizona Global Campus. I'd like to welcome you to this walkthrough of COM200, so let's jump in and take a look at what you'll be doing over the five weeks of the course. I'll try to share a few pointers and tips along the way as well. This should be familiar if you've taken even one UAGC course before. This is the sort of the master view of the entire five weeks of COM200. Now we'll be getting into the elements of the course one by one as we go through, but this is a great starting point. The first thing I'd like to point out are the weekly lectures and uh, the, the guidance, the uh, This Week in COM200. Uh, this is kind of like a weekly orientation to what you'll be doing in class that week where we've shared some advice and some tips on each of the elements of the course that week. In addition, you'll notice there's a weekly bonus lecture every week of the course, and these don't relate as closely to the content or activities of that week, but over the five weeks of the course, as you go through these bonus lectures, it will give you a great grounding in some of the theoretical underpinnings of interpersonal communication. So it's more of a supplement to the text and the course materials, but I encourage you to uh, go through each of those five bonus lectures as well. Of course, we have the discussions each week in the course, one discussion a week, with the exception of week one, where there's also the poster introduction discussion. Now, the poster introduction discussion is a little different in COM200, but we'll get to that in just a few moments. We have the reading quizzes in weeks two and week four of the course. If you visit those pages, they will tell you which chapters of the text are covered in both of those two quizzes. Uh, in both cases, the quiz consists of 20 multiple choice and true-false questions. We have the weekly assignments. In uh, weeks 1, 2, 3, and 5, these are fairly typical papers. Week 4 is a little bit different in that you will be creating some multimedia content using your choice of tools. You might make something like this PowerPoint video that I'm making right now, or you might make something different. There will be some writing involved, almost certainly, no matter what you choose to do in week four, but the week four assignment is a little bit different from the standard course paper. Now, there are video-based assignments in COM200 in weeks one, three, and five. In week one, you start off on, on day one in the poster introduction, recording a short video introducing yourself. In week three, your journal entry for that week, and I'll have more to say about the journal shortly, is a video-based journal, meaning you'll need to outline what you want to present on camera and record your video, and you'll submit both your outline and your video recording in week three. Finally, in week five, you will do a presentation based on your skills improvement plan, which we'll get into in just a moment, where you will present how you did, uh, what, what you learned from the experience to your classmates. The week three video, the journal video, is only seen by your instructor and yourself. The weeks one and five videos are viewable by all of your classmates. The interpersonal communication skills improvement plan is the thread that runs through the course, and you'll be doing some work on it each week of the course. In week one, you do an assessment that helps you identify an interpersonal communication skill area that you want to improve, and your week one paper is your plan for doing that. So please read the instructions for the week one paper carefully, and make sure that you get that in because so much of your work in the rest of the course is based on that. In weeks two, three, and four, you're just updating your instructor on your progress in a journal. In weeks two and four, it's a written journal, and in week three, as I mentioned earlier, it's a video journal. So turn in both your recording and your outline for that recording. In week five, you kind of sum things up. You do a video presentation for your classmates, and you write a paper. Both of these are covering some of the same ground. You will be talking about your successes, your challenges, but in the video, I would say that the video you can think of more as being about giving advice to someone else who wants to make improvements in the same skill area that you selected. Sharing the wisdom that you accumulated during the course on what to do, what not to do. Think of it as, as being advice. 
The paper is more for yourself. It is about next steps and motivating yourself to continue working on that skill area past the end of class, which is something that I, that I genuinely hope that you'll want to do. You'll notice that you have the same link each week in the class, the IPC skill area resources. This, this no matter which week's link you click on, it takes you to the same page. And this page presents a set of six reading packets that align with the six IPC skill areas in the assessment, one of which you will probably be working on for your IPC skill improvement plan. So I encourage you to check in on these each week. By the way, in week two, you'll be assigned to supplement what's provided in the reading packet with some new materials that you find on your own. So keep that in mind as well. We hope you'll use these each week in the course and that you'll find them useful. That concludes our quick walkthrough of COM 200. I certainly hope that you find the course to be useful, that you get something of value out of the course, and that you find your experience in COM 200 to be an enjoyable one. Thank you for watching.